Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure output voltage swing range for your amplifier or op-amp, whatever circuit is. So it is basically a range where your gain is maintained to the level it has to be. So let's open up the circuit first. See, this is my schematic and we can see the setup over here first so in this case I kept the gain of my circuit is 1 by giving a 10 amp mega resistor and the 1 amp resistor of ratio 10 is to 1 so I can check the I can check my output voltage swing for 10, 10 dB and here in supply for my op -amp, I'm given 2 voltage source you can set two different here for first. Let's see what's in there. It's a simple DC voltage supply. Of one volt. And the another one. Is a variable. So we can sweep the value, sweep the value of input between the sum range, and we can see how our how our output reacts based on our in different inputs. Apart from that, uh, I provide one current source to bias the schematic. Let's see what's in the symbol. It's a nothing but the OPAM single stage Casco telescopic structure of the OPAM two input one single output over here. You can see power supply, VDD and VSS. On the right side, you can see the biasing circuit for VB2, 3, 4 and the one here. And the part, part one is our amplifying circuit uh, design like Casco amplifier. So let's get back to the uh, original design and let's simulate the thing. So first do check and say don't forget to do it otherwise you can, might not get an uh, expected output. So go to tools, the analog environment. Here I have already um, saved my state, so I, I'll open that, but I'll tell you how to do it. So in this case, you need to do like two simulation. First is DC simulation to make sure that all of your uh, FET devices are in saturation. That's like um, check back before do anything, any simulation. And second is AC simulation, which is our main simulation. So let's see what's in there. Here, uh, I'll sweep the values between one one oh uh, sorry one hertz to twenty megahertz. Okay, and we need to set up the value for variable over here. That's the design variable vx. Yeah, you always have to go to the variable, copy from cell view and go to edit variables and set some value otherwise it, it won't run the simulation. Usually people do make the value of 0 up to, to 1 or things like it will make your uh, results to be more accurate uh, in particular range. So let's do with the 0 for now. So I'll hit apply and run simulation. Click OK. So we get the simulation without any issue. OK, this we can close this one. So this is our output. So my input pin is uh, output input supply in schematic you can see is 1.8 volt. So our output is, should be somewhere in that range as well. Mm, where's the Let's get back to the waveform. Where is the waveform? Mm. Can't see here. Let's run it again. Oh, yeah, right there. So here, this is the thing. Uh, to measure the particular thing, you can see like this is our circuit, and we can. Uh, this is our sorry. This output voltage, but we cannot see anything like like we cannot see where the gain is constant. Probably the uh, straight line 
is the slope so to get the better idea we're gonna use the calculator and we're gonna do the derivation of this plot so we can see where the things going on so just check uh, select the plot in calculator and click on our plot I think not the sorry wave click the wave not plot wave then select the thing select the play wave plot in here we got the particular plot and now go to spatial function and check for derive here so, so click derive and hit the plot so here we get the plot for derive so let's me maximize okay yeah that's good so here the straight part in the bottom plot shows the common like gain of 10 db you can see on the left side it says 10 so this is the range where the flat area is are required so we can measure somewhere like you can see here and another crosshair b up to the flat part here so we can see the delta difference at the bottom also this one so this 997.668 so somewhere around one volt I can see for my output voltage swing ranges so for this particular range my any signal would be amplified up to 10 by factor of 10 so this is the basic idea about this oh, output voltage swing ratio. Uh, usually it should be large. So your any, volt, uh, any voltage between your input range like up to 0 0.8, 0 0.8 milli to 1.8 in my case should be amplified 10 times. So but this is fair enough for me right now. So this is how you simulate and check your results for output voltage swing ratio. So this is it for today and thank you for watching video. See you next time.